Hello, this is Mike at Game from Scratch, and welcome to the first ever five minute game engine review. An attempt to cover as much information as possible about a given engine in five minutes or less. And today we're going to start with Unity. Why? Because Unity is probably the most popular used game engine today, especially in the indie space. And there's a lot of reasons for this. Uh, Unity was first released on macOS in 2005. And if that had been the end of the story, we'd probably not be talking about it today. But in 2009, Unity 2.5 was ported to Windows, and the rest, as they say, is history. Unity has had this magic ability to be the right engine with the right feature at the right time. It had a uh, web-based player in a time where the web couldn't do a whole lot. So they brought a lot of power to web um, applications that was never there before. At the same time, they supported iOS and Android right up front, bringing full 3D to a world that really didn't have it. They were really strong in the mobile space, and this has influenced a lot of things that have happened since. The platform is the key to Unity's success. Now, in terms of the developer tools, the developer tools will run on Mac and Windows with experimental Linux support in place. So that means the editor and the tools, etc., are all running on those platforms. Now, in terms of platforms it supports, we could almost just say all of them and call it a day. And that's pretty much it. Look at this graphic. You can see all of them there. Now, keep in mind, some of these, like PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, still require a developer license of some kind, but it's still a pretty massive uh, variety of platforms. Just recently, HTML5 was added, uh, as well as the newest um, VR headsets, etc. Basically, when a new platform launches, it gets. Unity support. So if you're trying to support as many platforms as possible, it's really hard to beat Unity this way. Unity has been used to create thousands of games, many in the mobile space, although increasingly common uh, for former AAA developers to create games such as uh, The New Homeland, uh, Firewatch, Shadowrun Returns, or Wastelands 2. There are very few, however, if any, AAA titles created with Unity. In time, of course, this may change. Next up, we get to the cost structure of Unity. Unity itself used to be very confusing with the way it's bought, and now it's a little bit simpler. There's a personal and a professional edition. The personal edition has two major limitations. Uh, you have to make less than $100,000 a year, and you have to show a splash screen. If neither of those things work for you, then you need the professional edition. Now, the professional edition includes a couple more features. There's things in there for team collaboration. There's some analytics tools, etc. But for the most part, they're the same software. When it gets into the professional side of things, you can either buy it monthly or um, per version. Uh, on a per version... Um, so like a 5.x or 6.x release, that will cost you $1,500 for the base license and then $1,500 for iOS or $1,500 for Android. So if you want all four plat or sorry, all three platforms, uh, you're looking at $4,500 or you can buy it on a monthly basis. It's $75 a month or $75 per platform. So in that case, you want all three platforms, you're looking at $225 US a month. Now, from a coding perspective, Unity uses a popular uh, entity component system. So basically, your game objects are created out of a, a collection of components, which there's a ton of them included out of the box. Programming-wise, it uses C Sharp, uh, Boo, which is a dialect of Python, and Unreal Script, which is a dialogue of ECMA Script or JavaScript. Now, the version of C Sharp in there is ancient. It's based on C Sharp uh, or Mono 2.6, which is basically C Sharp 3 from 2009. Uh, C Sharp is just about to release 6, so you got an idea of just how out of date it is. Fortunately, they just open sourced mono so hopefully we will see them come up to speed fast here but for now this is definitely one of the big negatives of dealing with unity the version of c sharp in there is horrifically out of date now, from a technical side, your coding, you can integrate nicely into Mono Develop and Visual Studio, including full debugging. You can also integrate nicely into existing source code solutions, so it should fit into your development chain quite nicely. Now, in terms of features in the editor itself, we'll call it all of them. Uh, pretty much everything's there. There's a full 2D, uh, 3D engine, full physics engines, particle system support, animation support, including IK and state machines, uh, full animation editor, networking support, advanced audio support, including audio positioning, positioning audio, audio mixing. Uh, there's a full terrain engine in there, prefab support, nav mesh generation, and pathfinding support. Uh, pretty much every single artistic deep, um, content creation system out there that is supported is in there. A lot of nice things is you can dump your assets right into a folder and Unity will automatically import them. That includes some things like uh, Blender, Cinema 4D, and Cheetah, applications that generally aren't supported on top of your uh, Autodesk juggernauts, your Maya, your Maxis, etc. So support for existing 3D applications is probably as good as you're going to find. Uh, now, one of the huge strengths with Unity is the asset store. The asset store gives you the ability to buy any kind of assets directly within it. So you can get uh, models, animations, code, you name it, tutorials. And there's the other big part with Unity. The community is massive. We'll get to that in one second when we go through the summary. Speaking of which, here comes the summary. Now, the biggest features of Unity are probably support for all of those different platforms. Big, big feature. On top of that, they've got a massive community to dip into. This means a huge amount of forums, uh, 
tons of books available, tons of tutorials available. And I said, I said earlier that asset story is out there. Plus, if you need to hire someone, chances are you can find someone with Unity experience. They also recently launched a certification program. Uh, there's a number of features in the engine that's very flexible, very capable. Basically, from a bullet point perspective, it has every single feature. Uh, you've got multiple programming language supports in there. So you've got those three out of the box, plus more available on the App Store uh, that integrate nicely into existing tools such as Visual Studio. But it's not all great. There are some flaws with Unity. Uh, first off, as I said earlier, the version of C Sharp that's included is absolutely ancient. Hopefully that gets rectified still. Now the next up is it's still chasing CryEngine and um, Unity, uh, sorry, and Unreal when it comes to fidelity. There are no AAA games, and this is why. Some people say that Unity games have a Unity look, a consistent look to them, and it's a stigma it's got to move away from. Now in most recent versions, the graphic fidelity has really jumped a lot, so hopefully we'll see this gap closing over time. But you don't see AAA games made in Unity, at least none that I've ever seen. Uh, now, the UI itself is starting to get a bit dated, and I think the UI needs an overhaul. If you look at Unity right next to, say, Unreal Engine's tools, they look old. You can really feel how old they're getting, a little creaky. And finally, there is no source code available. If you want source code, you have to negotiate a license with Unity, and that's expensive. All right, so that's it. Five minutes and 46 seconds. Technically, that's five minutes-ish. Hope you enjoyed that. See you all later. Bye.